I saw the, the graphics at the same time that Ron Grainer did. And then I was given his score. So Ron actually wrote the tune on a piece of paper, a single piece of paper, and then left us to it. When I saw Ron Grainer's score, there were some um, swoops indicated, and I assumed those were sine waves. The bass line that everybody thinks they know are, are actually made in two, two tr tracks within themselves. I think he, he may have described us as, as guitar plus a, I don't know, something like a bass bassoon or something. We did a whole string of me, 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 which when we played with the dun da dun dun da dun, it, I can't sing it, <laughs> but they went together as a pair. But then, um, apart from that, to fit in with the graphics, he he used words like clouds and wind bubble. Uh, but it's that sort of detail that people who uh, create a Doctor Who signature tune by ear don't know that that's how it was done or how Ron actually scored it, because the score has never left the building, as far as I know. Don't ask me where it is. It's somewhere. Clouds, obviously, one thinks of as filtered white noise. And wind bubble. Um, I think we use the wobulator. Delia and I got to work using sound generating equipment. There are no musicians. There are no synthesizers, and in those days we didn't even have a two-track or a stereo tape machine. It was always mono. It was constructed on, literally, on a quarter-inch mono tape, inch by inch by inch. And literally, we built up the orchestra with individual notes, and Delia would say, I think we need about 64 B-flats and 25 E's and B's and things like that, and we cut them all out physically. What I'd like to say is that hardly anything of it was done in real time. It was done um, either at half speed or, or um, chopped together in, in little bits of tape. For example, the swoops um, at the beginning, that they were done on the old valve oscillators. Now, most tunes have got a three-part structure. You've got a rhythm, you've got a melody, and you've got the sort of twiddly bits on top. So we created three separate tapes, put them onto three machines, and stood next to them and said, ready, steady, go, and pushed all the start buttons at once. It seemed to work. In those days, it was obvious if there was a wrong note, how to find out. You simply unrolled all the tape down the floor, walked along the, the, the sticky tape joins, and where two sticky tape joins weren't next to each other, that was the wrong note. So that was that. And we played it to Ron, yes, lovely, and it became the theme that we, we grew to love.